Before I go ahead with this video, I just want to ask a very simple question. Do you think they are ever going to leave black women alone? Because from my own end, I don't think they are ever going to leave black women alone. This all started because Megan Thee Stallion started a twerking challenge. If you've been on Megan Thee Stallion's page or even on social media, I'm sure you have come across people addressing that situation because this challenge have sparked so many conversations. This twerking challenge, people have several takes about it. So it sparked so many conversations and this creator said she wants to give a very controversial take. And her take is that, isn't it suspicious that Megan Thee Stallion started this challenge after Jaguar right said she may not be a biological female that was a controversial take that this creator put out and a lot of people are not having it some are even asking what that means like does that mean that she deserves to get shot like this sparked a whole conversation and people are coming in so without wasting much time let's just get right into it okay i feel like i'm the only one who saw this and so i'm just putting this out here because don't you find it suspicious that our girl Meg the Stallion put out this video like three days after Jaguar Wright says that she may not be biologically female and has been lying this whole time and maybe even changed the childhood picture. Did y'all not see that? Y'all don't find that suspicious? A little bit? That lady, Jaguar Wright, she ain't missed yet. Not enough for me to stop listening to her based on what she be saying. Female and has been lying this whole time. Came here from a completely different video. Didn't even get to watch that video yet because I seen this and this shit was crazy. First and four fucking most, a broken clock gonna be right minimum two times a day. Jaguar Wright been putting people on since the dawn of time. But there's also things that people can be wrong with because she's not Jesus. Her word is not gold. It's not bond. Like, relax. Secondly, no matter what this girl rap about, why do y'all care about her coochie so much? It's like any other time y'all talk about her, it has something to do with her coochie. Like, let that coochie breathe. Leave this woman the fuck alone. This is a grown-ass woman. Why do you care what is in her pants? She's never gonna show you. Y'all need jobs, hobbies, interdisciplinary activities, something. Like, you need something to do. Bring back after school for adults because y'all have too much time on your fucking hands. Why do y'all care so much? Like, what the hell? Y'all don't find that suspicious? No, we don't care. There are plenty other things that we could give a fuck about. Go talk about the ongoing genocide that's still happening. Talk about food deserts. Talk about the homeless. But we don't care about that one right here. That that one, we don't care. Like, if you were just yapping just to yap, this would be whatever. But you genuinely care about this. And your confusion as to why we don't is confusing to me. Like, some of us have problems, my guy. Some of us have big problems. I went to Publix recently and bought some grapes. I spent $10 on a bag of grapes. I spent $10 on a bag of grapes. And you over here trying to spread conspiracy theories and genitalia propaganda against Megan Thee Stallion and her genitals. Like, you don't find that suspicious? You don't find that weird? After Jaguar Wright says that she may not be... You should be ashamed of yourself. And I'm gonna tell you why. Y'all wanna prove so bad that Megan Thee Stallion is a man when the proof is not there. Everyone keeps talking about look up Joshua P. Joshua P. Apparently, when you look up, I looked it up. When you look up Joshua P. Megan Thee Stallion pulls up, and apparently that's supposed to be some type of proof that Megan is a man. And my thing is, if she was, who cares? What are you gonna do about it? What are you literally gonna do about it? For one, and two, y'all keep saying, oh, it's agenda, it's agenda. They're trying to push. Megan's trying to push an agenda because she's actually a man. Y'all don't think that there's an agenda being pushed of masculinizing black women and making us more masculine? Y'all don't think there's an agenda to defeminize black women? I, I, I don't understand. Y'all don't say this about Taylor Swift. Y'all don't say this about Zendaya. Y'all only say this about darker skinned, bigger, taller black women. I don't understand. Y'all did this to Sierra. Y'all did this to Serena Williams. And the only time that stopped is when she had a baby. I don't understand how y'all look at a woman and immediately masculinize her, but then want to sit here and cry when black men tell us that we're not feminine enough. But then when you see a strong black woman, you automatically assume she's a man. 
Y'all are disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourself as a black woman for trying to push this agenda to masculinize a black woman. I'm sick of y'all. I'm so sick of y'all. Because like I said, if she is a man, I do not think she is at all. But if she is, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Please tell me what you're what you're going to fucking do about it. Peter Jaguar Wright says that she may not be biologically. If you want the link to the website, let me know because we got to have something better to do with our times. They paying twenty dollars an hour out here in California. Why can a black woman ever just be fine and successful? And just embrace that she's sexy and just do sexy shit and just inspire other women to do sexy shit without y'all thinking it's a trans agenda and an LGBTQIA plus agenda. Why does it always have to be something? Megan Thee Stallion is just a woman who loves shaking ass. Why she got to be trans? Is it because she's like 5'9", five, 5'10"? Five, is it because she's built? Why, why are y'all so obsessed with saying Megan Thee Stallion is a man? What is wrong with y'all? This ain't even just for black women. This is for the black community as a whole. We are our own worst enemy a lot of the time. Like, we will tear our people down before anyone else has a chance to. Let that woman be great. Let that woman go out there and shake her ass and just have fun. Why do y'all have to turn everything into a think piece? Just let her be and just let it be. And if she was trans, what difference does that make? Okay, I feel like I'm the only one who saw this. And so I'm just putting this. Who cares? Who cares? Quite honestly, I hate niggas. I like I do. Like why? Why? She gave us all of that for free. For free ninety nine. And what you got out of that was that she's trans. Not that it would matter, because it doesn't. But why? Why? And who the fuck is Jaguar right? Like, who is that? Like, you, you get your news off Facebook? Is that, is that what that is? That makes no sense whatsoever. Like, I, like, I just feel like y'all hate on Meg just to be trendy or different. Like, quite honestly, like, I hate every single one of y'all. Biologically female and has been. Like, this shit is so weird to me. If you haven't seen the video, basically there's a rumor that Meg the Stallion is trans, but. Who gives a fuck? And why are you thinking about that? Like, the same thing happened to Sierra back in the day. So people are just around here creating rumors, being weird. Like, what the fuck? Like, she's tall. She's beautiful. She's a black woman. That's what she's saying. So I'm going to choose to believe it. Like, any speculation like that is so weird to me. Like, why are you trying to label her as trans, like, out of nowhere? Like, go outside. Touch some grass. That she may not be biologically female what the fuck are you talking about like what are you really talking about right now i am calling you in so that we can have this conversation because something needs to be examined about your thoughts and where you get your information from now before we get all that's my opinion my whole tiktok is me just talking shit and talking about opinions but here's the thing opinions are based on beliefs on judgments on things that we think it's not always rooted in the truth but it's on things that we think and when people call out your opinions, like I'm doing right now, it's not an attack on, oh, I can't have a thought these days. Oh, no one can say what they think. No, it's me examining your thoughts and beliefs because something here is a little sinister. It's a little weird. It's giving transphobic. Okay, so you were talking about this interview with Jaguar Wright, who went on social media yesterday and told her followers that she learned from the people in the entertainment industry that Meg the Stallion is really a man. Jaguar said on her live, a stallion is a male horse and a mare is a female horse. She continued, Meg would do anything to stop Tori from telling people that she ain't a woman. According to Jaguar, Meg lied about Tori shooting her in order to send him to jail and shut him up about her alleged transgenderism. Jaguar claims that Tori chose Meg's friend Kelsey over her because, according to Jaguar, Tori just likes real pussy. Is this really what you believe? Do you believe that Meg the Stallion brought on her own shooting because she's trans? Do you Are you really going to believe a random singer who's like barely even in the headlines, don't even knows about her anymore, talking about how she heard from someone in the industry that about what someone has under their clothes or not? Like, what are you talking about are you really going to believe that have we not seen this so many times with sierra lady gaga what even if it's true which it's clearly not but also even if it's true what the fuck does that matter what does that matter
putting my hair up for a second. <laughs> Girl. This was such a disappointing video to watch, especially because this woman had to not only be a victim of gun violence, but then she had to basically like convince people that the shooting even happened. And then she had to be strong and like suck it up and just like deal with it because that's what women who experience gun violence have to do. That's what like black women have to do. Like, I'm just so confused. Anyway, I'm leaving you with this. Before you post something on the internet, like you did, which you're totally allowed to do, this is a free space. And you're gonna ask a question where you're like, don't you find that suspicious? Don't you find that suspicious? Think about why you're talking about what you're talking about. Because if you are just spewing transphobic shit and you're transphobic, then, Go on and go be real. Show people who you are if you're a transphobe. However, if that's not really who you are and you're just into this weird Hollywood conspiracy, um, then break that down. But I think that you just have to take a minute to step back. That's all I got to say. That she may not be biologically female and if you haven't watched homegirl's video go back watch it for like i don't know 17 seconds to where you just see where she basically says that jaguar white says that megan the stallion isn't biologically female because she put out that video that glorious video of her a couple days ago i want us to go outside and touch grass um i want us to stand in the sun i want us to um go have ice cream or read a book because black women are are like number one enemy it's crazy you as a black woman said another black woman was not a woman because you've seen her vagina you didn't watch the video i watched the video i know everybody watched the video leave megan the stallion alone please god it's ridiculous i just hope this creator with this weird ass conspiracy theory is ready for what is about to come because so many people are going to come at her a video is still very new it's still around like three thousand something i know people are still coming at her the fact that it is a black woman who is starting a conspiracy theory about another black woman's on that path speaks so much volume about who they are as a person why do you have to sit down in your own house in your convenience set a camera out to talk down on another black woman if she is a trans or whatever it is that she is talking about in her video does it really matter just like other people have been asking so what exactly are you driving at that she deserves to be shot because she is trans like why do you even think she is trans because she's five nine and tall and she has the body and she is confident in her body is that what makes her a trans or what makes her not to be a biological female because this is really stinking this take is really weird if we really think about it like these people have been talking about how masculine black women are why does it have to be another black woman talking about how this lady might be a trans or whatever as if it actually matter and start a conspiracy theory on the internet they have started dragging her and i'm sure she knows that people are going to drag her more so i hope she's really ready for the people who are about to come forward more and drag her this comment said it bothers me another black woman is saying this about another black woman knowing dang well how racist try to make black women masculine and not seen as women shame on her really shame on her because she talked about how um jaguar rights has never been wrong so she definitely believes that um, Megan Thee Stallion is a trans or she's not a biological female, whatever it is that makes her sleep well at night. Another person said, she is trans and that changes your opinion on her. It says more about you than it does about her. This was my very first thought when I came across a video. Like, I was listening to what she was saying to the point where she said, Agua has never been wrong to her. Then I know where this is coming from. It's just a pure aid towards Megan because of the support that she has been getting. 
Another person said, she's not even trans. Have you all seen her baby pics? That is basically saying her parents dress her up as a girl, even though she is a boy. People are only saying this because she is tall with a body. Because she has a huge body is the reason why some are saying that she is trans. And there are so many women out there with huge body, like tall, huge. Another person said, people treat liking black women like it is a whole different sexuality because of this shit and it is so embarrassing like very embarrassing that this is even coming from another black woman like when exactly is black women going to rest like if you are not safe with your own people the men are saying they are masculine if it's racist people are saying they are masculine people of their own gender and their own race are saying this again it's it's weird another person said when we people realize that women can be tall People of Africa descendants are usually taller because of the environment in Africa. Just like how most European people have pale skin or blonde hair. I don't even know that a woman being huge, like tall, having that body is ever going to be classified as them being maybe masculine before being a trans. I did not even know that this can be a thing because I have seen so many tall, huge black women and I don't think this has ever been a problem and I don't think this has ever been a thought that maybe they are trans. Another person said, seeing this sort of thing with Venus and Serena Williams, like it is such a disgusting way to attack African-American women. So many people pointed this out as well in those stitches, like this was the same thing that they were doing to Serena till she gave birth. Like when we did take a chew pee and just let women be, like just let black women be and exist. Last one I have here said, we live in a world that wants to find reasons for why we hurt others and in a structure where there is no justifying the pain. Some people endure, they try to find the reason. It's transphobia. I take a video, a conspiracy theory that is not conspiracy, is very, very weird. Like, I don't think it makes sense as a grown person being concerned about what is going on down there, concerned about another woman's underparts. Like, I don't think it makes any sense. Like, this is so weird. Let me know what you guys think about our video. Let me know what you think about our conspiracy theory. And let me know what you guys think about Jaguar right as well referring to mega the stallion as a female horse let's continue this conversation in the comment section and if you have not subscribed please subscribe before you go and i'll catch you guys in the next one